Right now, you guys are currently eating one of my all-time favorite snacks, buffalo chicken dip. It's a very easy and simple snack to make, and I wanted to share with you all on how to make it so that you're able to enjoy it as well. Today, I'm going to be basing my recipe off of franksredhot.com. So the first thing you're going to want to do is gather all the necessary ingredients and supplies in order to make buffalo chicken dip. I'm going to be using a baking dish, 8x8 specifically. Um, half a cup measure cup, some like some utensils, canned can chicken, one eight ounce brick of cream cheese, ranch, dry ranch, shredded cheese, specifically Colby Jack, and hot sauce or your choice of hot sauce. I'm using Frank's Red Hot Mild Sauce. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have your cream cheese and it's most likely going to be hard because it's going to be in the fridge. So usually I will pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute to make sure it's softened and it's easy to mix with all the other ingredients. I've already preheated it so that first step is done. Next thing you're going to want to do is have your canned chicken and you're going to dump it in. It's probably going to have some liquid in it, so it's best if you like pour it in the sink. I've already done that, so that's out of the way. And then you're going to want to mash all the chicken together and mash it into smaller pieces. <laughs> mash into smaller pieces so it doesn't have big chunks and it creates more of a dip-like texture. Now, if you guys have ever wondered why the word buffalo was put on, why the word buffalo was added onto the first words of like buffalo sauce or buffalo wings, it's because according to farmflavor.com, it originates in Buffalo, New York. So I think the story is Teresa and Frank Bellissimo, they had a bar and their son, Dominic ended up coming into the bar one night and he asked his mom, Teresa, to make him a snack. So she ended up whipping him up some wings and she created a sauce and they ended up calling it buffalo sauce. So that is where the word buffalo is derived from. It's from that night and also because it was created in Buffalo, New York. The next step after mashing both of those ingredients together is you're going to grab your shredded chicken, or shredded cheese, my bad, and your half cup measure cup, and you're going to pour the shredded cheese into the measuring cup, and I suggest pouring it over so you don't make a big mess. And then, oh, not wanting to come out. Okay. And then you're just going to dump it in, and you're going to repeat the process with your ranch and your buffalo sauce. It doesn't matter which one goes first, so I will do the buffalo sauce first. And then you're gonna add it in. Personally for me, I like my stuff a little bit more spicy, so I'm gonna add just a bit more, but you definitely don't have to. And then you're gonna add in your ranch. And then it'll probably make some other sounds. Okay. And then you're going to add that in. And you can use a spoon to scrape up all the extra ranch and buffalo sauce. Put that to the side. And last but not least, the last ingredient you're going to be adding is the dry ranch. Now, I don't have a specific measurement of how much I add in. I kind of just sprinkle some on there until I like them out. So I just sprinkle it on top. And the last step is to mix it all together. Now who here attended a Super Bowl party this year? Okay, quite a bit. Was there buffalo chicken dip at the party? Yeah. Cool. So Google Trends reported that buffalo chicken dip was the most popular Super Bowl snack of 2024 in Missouri. So I ended up hosting one of my, my own Super Bowl parties at my house. 
and I made my famous buffalo chicken dip. And I made the mistake of not making enough because it was completely gone by halftime. So I suggest that if you guys end up making your own buffalo chicken dip for a, an event or, an par or a party, then make two batches because people really, really enjoy their buffalo chicken dip. And if you have leftovers, then you can obviously eat it for yourself, which is the best part. And once this is all mixed together, you can either enjoy it now, or I will usually heat it up in the microwave for about three to four minutes, and then you have your buffalo chicken dip.